Hello everybody, it's Kathy. How are you today? It's Wednesday, the 15th of January. My goodness. It's going to be my son's birthday on Sunday. He's going to be 19. And it's going to be my grandma's birthday on the 17th. She unfortunately passed away five years ago. She was 93 when she passed away. And I miss her dearly every day. And her birthday is on the 17th. That always makes me really sad uh, to remember her knowing that she's no longer here. Even though she's always with me in spirit. And I, I know she's in heaven and all, but I still miss talking to her even though I talk to her all the time. And I think she's listening to me every day when I do talk to her but still you know I still miss her even though I believe she's in a better place right now anyway guys um, I'm just here talking to you while I drive I'm by myself now um, Augustine went to therapy with his father today he takes him to therapy um, on Wednesdays afternoon I did bring him to another therapy earlier today but in the afternoon today his daddy takes him um so I am heading to the post office guys yep going to the post office I'm gonna bring Soleil's package and also Miss Judy's so Soleil is from Enchanted by Craft Soleil she's in Australia and she has a challenge going on right now guys so if you guys don't know Soleil go check out her channel and enter her challenge um, I'm also entering Miss Judy's challenge uh, she is having a 300 subscriber celebration and um, she's awesome she's also an awesome crafter as well as Soleil and I have both of her packages going out today and I also have Bree's package, uh, Bree from Crafty Hippie Halls. She won um, a pair of earrings from Bidi Craft, um, a secret giveaway that I had. And um, I'm also sending her earrings out. I also have to send um, Elsa's earrings out and Bethy from Bethy's Boutique Studio. But I'm sending Bethy and Elsa some other things in their males and I'm not done yet so I'm gonna include their earrings in those packages and Bethy said it was okay and Elsa said she was not in a hurry so I'm gonna include it in both packages guys just confirming with you now when I go back home um, I have to show you guys what I got yesterday from um, Tuesday morning I have to say though that uh, Tuesday morning, I think I had higher expectations from what I've, uh, you know, for that store. It was a super, um, it wasn't that big. I mean, the crafty area was quite big. It was an entire aisle with crafty items on both sides. And that was good. And it's like, a, let's say, a smaller Marshalls they have stationary aisle they have an aisle where they have rugs and chairs and shelves uh, they also have some kitchen gadgets uh, but it's much more smaller than Marshall's so I did walk around the store and I was gonna um, you know record for you guys for the ones that have never been to Tuesday morning but I had my son with me Augustine and he just wanted it he was a mess yesterday he was cranky I don't know if he was hungry or what but he was just complaining the entire time he wanted to go here and there he wanted to you know go grab a toy so I'm like I can't do this today I'm gonna have to go back to that store again another day by myself and do like an entire walkthrough of the store and I will do that for like some other of you guys that have never been to Tuesday morning like Solly she's in Australia and they don't have Tuesday morning um, they so it was a small store not a lot of uh, stuff 
much smaller than Marshall's, which, which is my favorite store on TJ Maxx. Uh, but the craft aisle was really good. They have a lot of stuff. They did not have any uh, Valentine's paper or uh, Valentine's ephemera pieces. So I was kind of disappointed about that. I might have to get, you know, if I want to get like some different things, uh, I might have to buy like a digital file or something maybe and print it out. I've never done that before. I do like to have the things in my hands and look at them before purchasing them, but I think I'm going to have to maybe if I want to get one of those, um, let's say designers, I might have to go digital maybe. I don't know. I'm at the post office, guys. So um, anyway, Tuesday morning was okay. I did get a lot of uh, chipboards and some ephemera pieces and some sentiments, I think from my homes. So it was good. I'll show you that when I get home, okay guys? And I'm gonna head into the post office now. now let me show you here what I have. Uh, let me turn it around because it has the address. Okay, let me show you what I have here. So those are my packages. Uh, you guys, that's going to the one in the bottom with the peanuts wrapping paper is going to Sole. Then the one with the butterfly is going to Miss Judy. And the pink with um, the pink one is going to Brie. And that's it, guys. I'm going to head into the post office before they close because they close at 5. Okay, I'll be back. You guys, I just came out of the post office and they're about to close now, but I'm going to have to come back with Soleil's package. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, I'm going to have to send Soleil a message. So the guy that was there to, um, the guy that received my packages, I was able to send Miss Judy's package and also Bree's envelope. Um, so the guy said to me, are you aware that you have to fill out a customs forms? And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so he gave me this form that I have to fill out. And I'm looking at Soleil's address. <laughs> and I don't know how to fill it out because it has like address line one, line two. Then it has city, province, zip code and all that. But from her address, I don't know what to put in where. So. I grab the paper, I'm taking it home, I have to fill out, I solely, I'm sending you a message through Instagram and I'm also going to send you an email, so please check it out. I'm attaching the picture of this paper and just tell me what to put in those lines, please. <laughs> so, um, anyway, and I might change the uh, the way that I'm sending this because I'm sending it in a box but the guy said it's like $65 to send that to Australia so I might try to put it in a lighter box or in a big envelope I don't know I'll see uh, so that's the update Sole on the package so please check your email okay check your email and uh, send me that info so I can come back to the post office tomorrow and send it to you finally. <clears throat> okay guys, and now I'm heading home. I was gonna go to Dollar Tree, but I um, changed my mind because I have a lot of things to do. I have to cook dinner. And also I have some packages. Well, first I'm gonna show you what I got from Tuesday morning and I have some packages from uh, Amazon reviews that I have to um, record two things that I got I also got some friend mail oh my goodness I also got some friend mail that I have to open and um, so I have to go home and do that because I'm behind on my videos today okay guys I hope you're having a great Wednesday okay it's okay here in upstate new york again i still have um today i'm also wearing a light weight coat it's 42 degrees out now 
and so it's pretty comfortable really nice weather we have not had snow I'm gonna turn right because I'm never gonna be able to turn left there's a roundabout here so I'm gonna go around the roundabout um, to go back home this is the time where people get out of work and it's super busy and to turn left is impossible so thankfully there is a roundabout I'm gonna go around the roundabout and go back home so guys I will see you again soon okay I will be back soon with my Tuesday morning so don't forget to check out later today okay thank you guys bye, -bye. have a great rest of your Wednesday